November 12, 2024. Memorial of St. Josaphat, Bishop and Martyr. A reading from the first book of the Titus. Beloved, teach what accords with sound doctrine. Older men are to be sober-minded, dignified, self-controlled, sound in faith, in love and in steadfastness. Older women likewise are to be reverent in behavior, not slanderers, or slaves to much wine. They are to teach what is good, and so train the young women to love their husbands and children, to be self-controlled, pure, working at home, kind and submissive to their own husbands, that the word of God may not be reviled. Likewise, urge the younger men to be self-controlled. Show yourself in all respects to be a model of good works, and in your teaching show integrity, dignity and sound speech that cannot be condemned, so that an opponent may be put to shame, having nothing evil to say about us. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation for all people, training us to renounce ungodliness and worldly passions, and to live self-controlled, upright and godly lives in the present age, waiting for our blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Saviour Jesus Christ who gave himself for us to redeem us from all lawlessness and to purify for himself a people for his own possession who are zealous for good works. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm Response, From the Lord comes the salvation of the just. Trust in the Lord and do good, then you will dwell in the land and safely pasture. Find your delight in the Lord, who grants your heart's desire. From the Lord comes the salvation of the just. The Lord takes note of the days of the blameless, their heritage will last forever. By the Lord are the steps made firm of one in whose path he delights. From the Lord comes the salvation of the just. Then turn away from evil and do good, and you may abide forever. The just shall inherit the land, there they shall abide forever. From the Lord comes the salvation of the just. Alleluia, Alleluia. If anyone loves me, he will keep my word says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia! A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, Jesus said, Will any one of you who has a servant plowing or keeping sheep say to him when he has come in from the field, Come at once and recline at table? Will he not rather say to him, Prepare supper for me, and dress properly, and serve me while I eat and drink, and afterwards you will eat and drink? Does he thank the servant because he did what was commanded? So you also, when you have done all that you were commanded, say, We are unworthy servants, we have only done what was our duty. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection Tuesday, 32nd week in Ordinary Time The short parable Jesus speaks in today's Gospel reading reminds us that we never have a claim on God. After we have done all that God asks of us, we cannot then say to God, I am due some recompense for all that I have done. That would be usual in the world of human affairs. People expect to be recompensed in proportion to the work they have done. However, that is not how we are to relate to God. God is never in debt to us no matter how generous we have been towards God. This is because our good work on God's behalf is itself due to God's good working within us. All the good we do is of God. Without God's loving initiative towards us, we could do nothing that is pleasing to God. St. Paul speaks in today's first reading of how God's grace was revealed towards us in the life, death and resurrection of Jesus. We have been greatly graced by God and all that is good in our lives is the fruit of that gracious initiative of God towards us. In faithfully serving God we are giving back to God what God has already given to us. Yet, elsewhere, the Gospel makes clear that our efforts to serve the Lord well will always be met by further loving initiatives of the Lord towards us. The Lord's love for us is a given, it doesn't have to be earned. Our lives of loving service in response to the Lord's love for us opens us up more fully to the Lord's love for us. As Jesus says elsewhere, if we give to God, it will be given to us by God, a full measure, running over will be poured into our lap.